Welcome to Deep Thought. The purpose of ego. Now, a gentleman, young uh, man on my uh, men's channel, I mentioned something about ego, and I said I would uh, talk about it here. Shout yourself out in the comments. Uh, Born, I forgot the full name, but Born. It had Born and a couple numbers. But check it out, right? Ego. Now, you know, people always talking about all bad ego. He got too much ego and all of that. Um, yeah, that could be a problem, but understand something. The ego is very necessary. The ego is extremely necessary because the main purpose of the ego is to protect yourself. The ego is supposed to be selfish. The ego is supposed to uh, think highly of yourself. Understand something. We live in a society, a world where we're constantly being bombarded with people, entities, whatever, trying to influence us, trying to follow their program, trying to get us to do what they want to do. And... Honestly, you can get in trouble because you don't look out for your own health, your own well-being. Because people always talk about the bad parts of ego, and I'll get into that in the next podcast. But the good parts is you're going to feed yourself. I remember my, my, young, my, my grandmother's alive and my young cousin, she was still a toddler. She would go straight up and ask for food. If she was hungry, she didn't care. And my grandmother said, that's a sign of intelligence right there. See, when you because when you have an ego, you're selfish. You're going to take care of your own needs. And that's actually healthy for people. They're going to look out for themselves. Because sometimes people want you, like I said, people, there's many people want you to follow their needs, do stuff according to them. They want you not to brag or like even congratulate yourself for stuff you do. Oh, you bragging and everything. Only reason they have a problem with that is they don't feel as good. Like if somebody brag about something they did, I'm like, okay. Because it don't make me feel any type of way. You know, ain't nothing wrong with popping your own collar. Nothing wrong with it. You need to feel good about yourself. Except if it's a false thing. I'm going to talk about that next podcast. But you know what? You take care of yourself. You think enough of yourself not to let anybody put you down. Because you feel good about yourself. You want to defend yourself. Like, the ego is actually a defense mechanism. And it's a very important one. Every person needs it. Now, of course, everybody got it at different levels. Somebody have real powerful egos. It can get to be a problem. But then some people have a balanced ego. And I'm going to talk about later this week on how to balance the ego. But it's still important that the bottom line is that you're looking out for yourself. There's nothing wrong with it. See, I'm going to tell you something. Let me go deep on you. Good and evil is relative. Even bad and good. Even when I talk about the bad side of the ego, it's still relative. If a fox goes in a hen house, it's bad for the hens. Real bad, but it's good for the fox. And if the uh, hens could somehow get the fox out, that's bad for the fox, but good for the hens. See what I mean? And it's just that's if they just apply that to everything. Like whenever you do something for yourself, it could be bad. But see, sometimes people might call you standing up for yourself, telling them you ain't putting up with their crap. They'll say it's a bad thing. They'll they'll say it's a bad thing, but they ain't thinking about what they did. They ain't thinking about what what they did. Like, I'll use myself for an example. Because I always get someone who, you know what, I ain't going to get into that. I'm going to leave that alone for now. I'm going to leave that alone. Man, just forget y'all heard that. (laughs) But um, I'll I'll keep my surprises. But no, but seriously, anytime you do, have y'all noticed whenever you do something for yourself, somebody else will say it's bad? But why they saying it's bad? Is it bad because you're hurting yourself? No, they'll say it's bad because it's not benefiting their agenda. Because they're trying to influence you. They want to do stuff. And it hurts their, it probably hurts their ego because their ego is probably based on getting people to do what they want. Now, that's a bad ego right there. Trying to control people. 
No, but it's all about looking out for yourself. It, it, it's like you feel good about yourself that you're not going to do stuff to your body that hurts it. You feel good about yourself. You're not going to engage in actions that go against your principles. You're going to be selfish. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Because, you know, sometimes, like I say, people, they think it's a problem because they're not benefiting from it. But selfish means you're going to feed yourself. Selfish means you're going to take care of your health. Selfish means you're going to take care of your mental health. Selfish means you're going to feel good about yourself. You know, if selfish means you're going to, you know, you're going to do what's best for yourself. Now, I know some people hear that. Well, you shouldn't be so. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, stop. Stop that. Okay. Because isn't it selfish? You know, when somebody try to get you to do something for them or try to get you to follow their plan, they being selfish. They thinking about themselves. They ain't thinking about what's best for you. If they're thinking about what's best for you, the most they would do is present their position and give you a fair chance to follow it on your own. Now, that's okay. That's okay if you present it and say, look, this is what I'm presenting. If you're down with it, cool. If you're not, I respect that. Okay, that's cool. Now, you're doing something for yourself because for whatever reason, you need to spread an idea. Now, that's cool. And that's part of your ego. You do want to influence people. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But you're not forcing the influence. You're giving them a choice. And then if it's in their ego, their nature, their self-preservation to agree with your choice, boom. Like, um... Okay, like uh, with my different uh, YouTube channels and all my other stuff, I don't like. If y'all know, I don't like using the word followers. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I like, I prefer the word uh, fellow travelers. I prefer the word supporters. In fact, I, I'll say so. If y'all listen to me closely, I'll say my supporters, not followers. And by saying support, I'm acknowledging that if you're listening to what I talk about watching any of my videos, you doing it of your own free will. I don't force anybody. I don't I and really I don't really influence people to listen to me. I notice uh once I get past monetizing the channel, I don't ask for people to sub me or something or share my stuff. I just put it out and see what I get. Because I recognize that if someone I want see personally, I want the support of your own free will. Your own free will. Because my ego is saying, well, you know, yes, I love support, but I don't want to force it. I don't like forcing anything. I just I, I just give a choice and keep moving. So, but as far as your ego, your, uh, your thing, you know, you whether you support me or don't support me. Even if you, let me, let me go there. If you don't support me, you don't follow, you don't like what I'm saying, I'm actually good with that too. I'm actually good with that because I'm saying, okay, it's your choice. I've had people say, well, you know, I'm unsubbing and this and that. I just say peace. I just say peace, you know. And, in fact, there's been times I've said that because ultimately everyone has to do what's good for themselves. And that's the purpose of ego, you know. Something else I say, fair exchange is no robbery. You know, if I want something from you, I'm not going to force it. I'm uh, um, either ask nicely or see what I can get, see what you're doing. But if for ego reasons you decide, well, you don't want to share that or information or something, I understand that too, as long as it's for your purposes. All right? So understand something. The ego is to protect yourself. You need it. A lot of people need it. A lot of people need it, but as we know, sometimes it could be, it could, it, it can go out of control. And I'm gonna talk about that in the next podcast. So until then, peace and blessings.